Ajax. So what do you want to see me about? Need your help. Carly's life could depend on it. Dr. Lee said there's a good chance Carly could suffer a fatal stroke or embolism from this ZPT. Okay, well, how's she handling that? Well, she's facing it with her own mix of defiance and denial. Ignoring the risks. Minimizing. She actually went down to a research hospital in South Carolina, hoping to improve her odds. I'll see what the doctors have to say and I'll take it from there. Kelly, have you got any recommendations? Yes, avoid stress is the big one. Which is tough to do when Michael's facing surgery. Right. Dr. Hansen wants to do this experimental surgery within a month. Apparently after that, Michael starts to irreversibly deteriorate. Dr. Henson's the expert on the procedure. And you're the top neurosurgeon in the country, so I want your opinion. Jax, Carly took me off the case when Dr. Henson came on board. And I want you back on. I want you to examine Michael, and if you agree with Dr. Henson, I want you back on the surgical team. Carly is supposed to be avoiding conflict. Emotional conflict. Do you really think it's a good idea rehiring the surgeon that she fired? If you recall, Jax, I was there the night Michael moved his hand. Carly was convinced it was a sign that he was coming back and you disagreed. It was an involuntary reflex. It wasn't what Carly wanted to hear. I know the reason why you were taking off Michael's case. I want you back on. Jax, with all due respect, it's not your call. Michael's parents get to decide the course of treatment. Listen to me. Carly has confidence in you, regardless of what she said that night. We want what's best for Michael. Now, this procedure's only been done on ten patients, and two of them died. I don't want Michael to be the third. I've never done this procedure. But you're skilled at high-risk surgery, so you've already proven that. You saved Jason's life, so in Carly's eyes, you're already a miracle worker. Jax, I don't want to dwell on worst-case scenario, but you understand that if this procedure fails... Yes, yes, of course, regardless what the outcome, I just... I know that it would help, Carly, if you're on the team. Okay. I'll do it. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Jax, you asked to see me. Yes, I was just discussing Michael's case with Dr. Drake. He's agreed to be part of the uh, surgical team. Well, it'll be good to have you on board. Not that... <laughs> Mr. Jax gave me any choice. Your reputation precedes you, Dr. Henson. I've looked over your research in several of the medical journals. I've heard about you, too. You have a reputation for technical brilliance. You say that like it's a bad thing. You skate very close to the edge, Dr. Drake. You, you take big, some would say, irresponsible chances with your patients. The best of what I do, you can see my records for that. I'm aware that your win column is long and impressive, but that could mean that you're simply overdue to fail. Well, Michael's parents would disagree. Um... I've gone over Michael's records and I'd like to follow up on some consultation notes um, by a Dr. Robin S Scorpio. Scorpio. My, Dr. Scorpio is my wife. She's on an extended sabbatical, but we work closer on the case. I can help you with her assessment. I have to ask, why were you so willing to give up on Michael? Was it the severity of his condition or a lack of confidence that you could do anything about it? You don't mince words, do you, Dr. Henson? I just like to know who I'm dealing with from the outset. Well, I'm not in the business of giving people false hope. Neither am I. My procedure is risky and cutting edge, but it can work. And it's the only chance Michael has. I'm concerned by this set of markers. Michael's NSD levels are dropping. That shouldn't be a factor. Unless it's the first symptom of a major decline. Your concern seems out of proportion to the severity of the problem. Michael is remarkably stable. He he can wait the month we need to properly prepare for surgery. The other tests already run on him. Support this conclusion. Well, I think Michael is running out of time faster than you realized. 